Yeah, this is um, like all of these topics. It's about valuing the caregiving economy. Like there is an economy that takes care of people that's instrumental to the functioning of the rest of the economy. And the greatest benefit of it is that it improves the lives of children in, 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 our, in our Rhode Island state. So it starts with doing, having a governor that knows that that's part of the issue here. Um, I'm gonna work with those of you in the field, many of you who I know, uh, and we're gonna do this together. We're gonna allocate funding and pay reasonable wages and look at Medicaid and we're gonna do all these things. Um, and, and then, you know, just by those actions, word does start spreading that this is now a valued part of our state, that we want people to address this. And that's how you attract people to the, to the sector. Now, that's the short term, but there's a long term game plan here too. And we need to make sure that we have higher ed programming, that we've got other uh, supports to people choosing this field to make sure that they're gonna stay in it for the long run. And may, where maybe it's you know uh, housing affordability because we have a real gap in housing affordability across the state, and so that's an added incentive. Uh, but but we need to make all these connections between the silos to tackle something like this weakness. And it would be absolutely my joy to be able to work with every one of you here in fixing this problem because it is absolutely doable. These are not like complicated issues in, 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 in the abstract. These are absolutely tangible, step by step. And having done it in elections and in business services and in other areas where you work with the legislature, the advocacy, nonprofit community, and with those in government, I know how to do it. You can get it done.